Hello, everybody. It's Andy Boucher here once again. I'm Red Thunderbolt Woman of the Loon Clan, a proud member of St. River First Nation in Treaty 3 territory in Northern Ontario. And I should probably put a disclaimer out there. This is going to fall under the category of a rant. Because seriously seriously so to give you a little context here i have been working in the realm of canadian reconciliation indigenous canadian reconciliation for almost 14 years now and i started exclusively in first nation communities i wasn't even thinking reconciliation yet i was thinking indigenous empowerment I knew that until we could stand strong and that we had healed enough and we could stand up and speak with a strong voice, not attacking, but with confidence, that reconciliation was impossible because we had to be able to meet them in the middle of the bridge. We had to be able to meet Canada at the table and we couldn't expect, like, like with any healing like as a 10-year domestic abuse survivor i've said this a hundred times my healing was not dependent on my ex getting it together and suddenly becoming a better person indigenous healing is not dependent on canada suddenly waking up healing is our responsibility and we deserve healing And we need to do that for ourselves, for our kids and our grandkids, our communities and our agencies. So that's where I started in our First Nation communities. And I was probably six or seven years into my business journey when the first non-Indigenous entity, a corporation, reached out and asked me to work with them. And I honestly thought, like I asked them, like, I think you're calling the wrong person. And that person was so far ahead of the game. And I see that now. I didn't see that then. Because their response was, we want to improve our Indigenous engagement. We figured who better to ask than Indigenous peoples. Mic drop. Amazing. So that's when I really started in the reconciliation realm, actually working on both sides of the feather, still committed to Indigenous empowerment, but also educating non-Indigenous people, providing them an Indigenous perspective to their actions, their words, or their inactions, and lack of words, and how that affects us. Because if you just assume the enemy is the enemy, then you're missing a chance to build a bridge. I had met so many non-Indigenous people, heart in the right place, that were still doing harm because they were missing pieces of information. And that became my journey. And it still continues to be my journey. But today I have to call out something that needs to be called out. And it is the hypocrisy of so many business entities or corporations. Do not tell me you are interested in reconciliation if your next corporate decision is going to hurt Mother Earth or Indigenous peoples. If you cannot honor the things that we hold dear, honesty, relationships, wisdom, then we're going to have a really hard time building a bridge. And that's actually what brought me to this episode today. I didn't know what I was going to talk about until last night. And for those of you who follow my work, you know that I recently announced that I was returning to community television. I've done it twice in the past, once in the studio, and then once from my home during COVID lockdown. 
And I was actually going to return to the studio, and I was so looking forward to that. That is not going to happen. And that is my decision. Because contrary to these entities that I'm talking about today, I do have values that I live by. I have values that I run my business by. I value experience. I value wisdom. And I value relationships. But unfortunately, the entity that I would have worked with recently got bought out by another entity and they started letting people go and they let the wisest most experienced people go they let people go that we as hosts of programs had established relationships with and i knew that didn't sit well with me I didn't yet know why. I just knew when I heard what had happened and the people I would no longer get to see and work with, I knew something wasn't right. And then as if, and now I'm smiling because creator is amazing. Have you ever tried to do something and it's just not happening? And at some point you got to realize, wait a minute, why? Why is this so difficult? We had a heck of a time scheduling when I could come in to shoot the first episode. Just just a a schedule conflicts and I had hurt my neck over the last couple days. So I was taking some days off and it just, it was hard. It was not working. And then it hit me. This problem this, this total difference in values that I don't do hypocrisy. I don't. Authenticity and bravery are my two core values. And I live them with everything I've got every single day. And I realize that if I was to go ahead with this community TV program, for an entity that doesn't value wisdom, that doesn't value relationships, that some people may see me on that network and think I'm okay with what they do, or that I agree with those kind of actions, and I don't. I so totally don't. So would I have looked forward to doing a TV program again? Absolutely. Will I do it with that entity? No, no because our values are so far apart, that is not a bridge that can be built anytime soon. And what's gonna be hilarious is how much you wanna bet in two, three years, they're gonna reach out, maybe not to me, but to someone wondering why their indigenous engagement stats are so bad, why they suck so bad. And I can tell them because it's not just what you say in your ads. It's not even just how you treat indigenous people. It's how you conduct yourself, even when we're not in the room, because that matters to us. That shows us who you are. And we're now in a place where we can decide if when we see who you are, if you're someone we wanna walk with. Me, I'm choosing a different path because that's the path to reconciliation. So to all my non-Indigenous listeners out there, look carefully at your behavior. If you're all into the reconciliation committee at work and you go home and hang out with people at the barbecue that tell really bad Native jokes, Here's your hat. Here's the sign, hypocrite, in big, bold letters. Authenticity, please. Don't get on the reconciliation committee if you can't do it. Right? Just own who you are. Then you're not ready to walk the path yet. Because as Indigenous peoples, and I'm not trying to speak for everyone here, but I know a whole bunch of them will agree with me, 
We're so tired of walking with people pretending to be something they're not. And I think you can understand that. Until next week, I'm going to go hang out with some awesome people because I know who they are. When I'm in the room or not, when they're working with Indigenous people or not, I have authentic people in my life and I cherish them because nowadays they're just a little too rare. So if you could join the team, I'd appreciate it. Until next week, I love you. Take care. Bye-bye.